of the new computer these, computers these days um, are running on Intel processors. Intel's a pretty big company, as most of you have probably heard of. Um, they are all what are called dual core processors. This is basically like having two processors on one chip. Um, so a lot of the kind of um, previous idea of a supercomputer was having all these multiple processors working at the same time. Well, at this point, they basically combine that into one chip that they can fit into something like a notebook or whatnot. Um, so that allows you a lot of ability to uh, for the computer to be doing more than one thing at a time. Um, so like the operating system, as he was saying, is always running in the background, taking up a certain amount of the, the computing power of your processor. Um, and then if you're working in Word or surfing the internet, checking your email, whatever you do on your computer, um, each of those programs that you have open is taking up more of your computing power. And so this allows it, the computer to keep running a lot better while you're doing multiple things at the same time. So your computer's not going to kind of bog down if you're surfing the web, checking your email, and in the background you're playing some music or something like that. So, you know, one thing is, when we talk about computers, it's almost like we have a different language, right? So, <laughs> mm -hmm. we say dual core, and you might be wondering, well, you know, what's dual core? What does that mean, right? In the past, the processor, just kind of like the brain of the computer, runs at a certain speed, right? And over the years, they're getting faster and faster and faster. But the problem is, at this point, they're getting so fast, there's not much more they can do. They can't make the brain much faster. So, what they're doing is they're putting two brains on one chip. So that's what we mean by dual core. When we say dual core, it's actually a lot easier than it sounds, right? Just two brains on a single chip. Mm -hmm. And so since that's the trend nowadays, as Gabe was saying, um, you can do a lot of multitasking, right? In the past, you can maybe be doing one thing at a time on your computer, right? Nowadays, you can be doing you know, internet, email, work, and you know, with very little slowdown, you're still running at a very high performance. And even if you don't do all those things at the same time, this is just, if you're, if you're looking at a machine and somebody's trying to sell you on something that that isn't dual core at this point, they're probably trying to sell you something that's kind of old, kind of outdated. Um, so for the most part, that's that's what you're going to see. That's kind of the buzzword that you're going to hear about processors right now, is dual core or multi-core, things like that. Um, so that's the main one. Did you have a question, sir? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Let me bring the dual core down to a, a level of language that I understand. Sure, please. You talk about one brain versus two brains, and that's kind of like uh, when I'm in the kitchen, uh, because I'm the, I'm the Chief cook and bottle washer now that I'm retired. And when my wife comes in there, see, first there was just one brain, and now there's two brains, but they still don't work together. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it do? <laughs> Thankfully, with a computer, it's a, it's a little more cooperative than that. They can, they can uh, share their, their um, kind of their processing power to focus on one task. Um, but they can also go in separate directions. So the one, both of you could be washing the dishes at the same time, one person washing, one drying, or one person could be cooking dinner and one person could be washing dishes. Um, so it really gives you more flexibility in that. In good that good bus speeds means good communications between the two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they communicate nicely.